I, I heard from, Good. from I heard from you guys uh, Thursday and uh, players, coaches, huh? talking about a lack of rhythm. Kind of heard that from fans yeah. this week. Is it a good sign that? Somehow, maybe winning hasn't isn't good enough anymore for for, for fans. I mean, that's there, there's got to be some good in that. Well, I, number one, you know, anytime you win is a good win. Uh, it's a great win. It's it, people have no idea how hard it is to win, um, and uh, especially going on a road in an environment like that and to win. Um, you know, hey, I, I think it says a lot about our team. Um, it says a lot about us being able to overcome some adversity. Maybe not playing well. Early on, offensively, uh, couldn't get in a rhythm. Um, but anytime you go up there and win, hey, you you won on the road and a division uh, win. I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, now, like I said, you may not have played as well as you want, uh, but you come away with a win. That's that's a great opportunity to teach and and uh, and and to kind of kind of get things going. I, I uh, uh, you know, believe me, I, I was excited as everybody about winning, but uh, you know, was disappointed. I didn't think we played well. Um, and, uh, you know, when you start looking back and, and, and start analyzing and, and going through things, and, and um, you know, obviously it starts. And, and, you know, the last time this group played together was August 31st. If you really want to look at it all, August 31st against Georgia was the last time this bunch played together as a complete unit and had to play in a game that, uh, you know, basically was nip and tuck the whole way. Um, that was probably, what was it, you know, 12, 14 days, maybe longer than that. Um, so uh, actually it was. It was a little bit longer than that. So, um, you know, I, I do. I think part of playing, part of being an offensive football team is, is getting into a groove and getting into a rhythm, even as a play caller. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I think you saw that early on. It was, it was until play 59 of the game that Taj ever settled down to the point to where he was making the confident throws uh, and standing in the pocket. That's 59 snaps into an 82 play game. Um, and um, we all know what Taj is capable of doing. We've all seen it. Um, and uh, he's one of the best in the country. And, but still, you, you, you have to play. That's why they call it a season. Uh, otherwise, it's just when you come out and everybody plays one game and you're done. Um, and so that's why you want to see your team get better as the year goes. I'm extremely excited about the opportunity that, that, is, that is ahead of our, of our guys. Um, and uh, we're not. We haven't played our best football. We've done some good things, but we haven't played our best football. And that's a great opportunity for, for me as a coordinator and um, for our offensive football team to, to get better uh, and to coach them hard. And, how do you, uh, I can promise you we, we do that. How do you work on, on, on rhythm? I mean, no, this week, you don't. You, you, know, you that... practice all you want. Okay. You practice for 22 straight days. And uh, until you get into a live game situation where you're on a consistent – pattern and a consistent routine, or whether you're playing every Thursday night or Friday night or Saturday night, it's not going to happen. And, uh, and so the great thing about this now is now for the next six straight weeks, you're, in a, you're into a routine. And, um, and so that's what's good to see. Um, so, you know, it'll come. Um, you know, the biggest thing you can do is you can't press. And Taj doesn't even press. Um, like I said, we know what Taj is capable of doing. I mean, he's it's uh, you know it's very uncharacteristic of him to miss the deep balls that he that we had the other night and uh, um, you know going back and looking at it and looking at his mechanics and you know it wasn't all on him um, you know he had some some uh, protection issues up front but but uh, he was also trying to just it was just as if he was just trying to place the ball instead of just throw the ball but that'll come. What have you seen out of Wake Forest? I'm sure you've looked at some yeah stuff. you know. You know, defensively, they're running the they're running the three four. Same thing they've ran the last couple of years uh, since I've been here. Um, they've got eight guys returning, actually seven guys returning back uh, off their team. Uh, some of those guys, I think there's three or four of those guys that have, uh, are now into their third year as a starter. Um, you know, again, I, it's a great opportunity for us to get better um, and um, you know to to come out and to perform. Our guys are going to be ready to go. They're going to be excited to get back out there and, and, and to get into that rhythm and to get into a groove and kind of in, in to improve. So. How do you deal with uh, Nikita Whitlock, their nose guard, who's kind of undersized but just yeah. seemingly is always around? Great player. Great player. You know, this, this guy is a, was he, a three-year starter, I believe, and uh, um, plays just, just hard every play. I mean, this guy plays relentless every play. Um, 
you know, he's, he's definitely somebody that uh, uh, has, has, has caused some problems against other teams, has caused some problems with us over the last couple of years. You've got to put a body on him, and, 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 but he's, he's very elusive. He'll spin. He'll, he does a good job on his movement. Uh, very good player, and, and obviously we have to have him accounted for.